Hi, I'm uh, I'm Ron, and this is Alan. Al, and uh, we've been just, just wanted to chat about. We've been playing around recently with trying to move all our stuff to the cloud, yes. and just wanted to say what that's been like. So you've tried. We've both actually been trying to switch between um, Windows SkyDrive and Google Docs. Kind of haven't. Yeah, I think so. Much, right? I think I think for sure we we want to make sure that. I think I've got the same thoughts as you in that we want to make sure that we use a, a reputable company, a large company, we know our data is safe. Uh, that kind of They're not going to go under a week from now, which is why. Right, which is why we've both been looking at a Microsoft SkyDrive and a Google Docs as opposed to mom and pop's cloud yeah. storage company. But Absolutely. now this. So SkyDrive is giving free 25 gigs, Fantastic. and Google Docs is only one gigabyte. SkyDrive gives um, uh, 25 gigs plus the five gig synced folder. Okay, so you get 30 gigs in in total. Yeah. Now okay. the the flaw and that's that, free. The flaw that I found with that and you found with that was that uh, obviously you can't increase that right now. No, no, that's your bone of contention because I looked at my own my Docs folder and I'm sitting at 44 gigabytes. It's the video and the, and the pictures that throw it over. Yeah, absolutely. But at uh, which, so Google Docs has been tempting me because for an extra $5, you can get, uh, uh, for $5 a year, you'll get 20 gigs of storage. And for, um, well, no, for $5 a year, 20 gigs. Yeah, and for $20, $20 a year, 80. 80 gigs of storage, which, which covers fantastic. everything. Which fantastic. I'm covered right. on 80 gigs. I think most right. people would be with right. a bunch of photographs yeah. and a bit of music. Exactly. And then the one thing we've been fighting over now is what's the right answer? Do we want to be completely in the cloud? Or I think we've both decided that a perfect solution is that we would have our local drives synchronized with whatever cloud storage we have. That's got to be the way forward. Y yeah, yeah. Because if it's just in the cloud You're and not on my it. laptop and I run into a meeting and I can't access it, too frustrating. You're now, going to forget yeah. otherwise. And we've both been looking at two products because we've been playing with SkyDrive right now and not necessarily Google Docs, but um, SD Explorer and Gladinet. And we've both kind of like okay. landed SDX, on Gladinet. SD Explorer, no. And what, why no? Because it was just too slow transferring files. Too clunky, too right. slow. It's not seamless enough. It's almost like you have to do something. If you have to do right. something, it's It's so too methodical much. to do it. And then the thing about Gladinet that looked fantastic was that I can sync to any cloud storage. So I got Google Docs on there yep. as well too. And I have my SkyDrive. So now the thing that we're both looking for is how do we synchronize that with our local drive? I really like Gladinet. Very professional looking application. Yeah. Thought that, that it was very good in what it did. Um, what I didn't find with that is fully synced folders. Right, right. The mirrored folder thing, I wasn't buying on Gladinet's mirrored folder solution no. because what they're doing is they're storing it to a local cache somewhere that you don't have access to. How's that going to sync with my iTunes then? How am I going to get to my photos like that? So I just wanted to. So their mirrored solution is not the synchronized solution. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So. Okay. Really, I think what we've concluded so far from our search is that there is no solution. Right, and we're looking for it. Unless anyone else knows any better, of course. Yeah, please leave us uh, leave us something in the uh, the doobly doo down below if you have any answers as to um, where we can find synchronization with Gladinet. And if not, I think it's it's freezing out here, Al. I'm going back in. <laughs> it's time to go back to work. It's time to, to go back on. to work. And uh, so, hey, where can people find you? Um, uh, they can find me at um, um, Ashton um, IT Solutions. Ashton Alan at Ashton, AshtonITSolutions.com. Right, and you can find me at RonDeGiusti.com. And we're both working at Knowledge Tech right now, so it's both a Ashton at KnowledgeTech.ca yeah. and RonDeGiusti at KnowledgeTech.ca. That's much easier to remember. Okay, thanks. Bye, folks.